Hey kids, so starting chapter 16, chapter 16 um, is like the, it's the, it's technically the last chapter, it kind of um, brings a few things together, however, um, we don't have to have finished uh, quadratics to have, to do chapter 16, because it's still, you, you have enough information to do what we're doing, okay? Um, so. In chapter 16, the overall um, goal of the first half of the chapter is uh, to look at data and decide, is this linear data, is this quadratic data, is this exponential data, okay? Um, so in here's, you know, pictures of what those things would look like, okay? So some important calculator notes, uh, make sure you go into your mode and turn on your stat diagnostics. Okay, that's right here, stat diagnostics. Make sure you have that clicked to on. Remember what that does is when we do regressions, it turns on the correlation coefficient or the R value. Okay, so the basic calculator functions we will be using are stat and edit. Okay, I already have some data in here. And then stat and calc. And the options we'll be using out of that menu are four for linear regression, five for quadratic regression, and zero for exponential regression. Okay, um, the R value. Remember, R when it comes to linear is a strong positive. R when it's negative one that's strong negative. So the closer you are to one for an R value, the better uh, the data fits the model. Okay. To make a prediction about a future value, you're going to sub the value into the equation for x, example years, and solve for uh, y. Okay. Um, we're taking out all the problems where we're giving you the y value and you have to do the intersection point. So we're not going to do that part. We're going to take that out. Okay. So the main focus of our lesson right now is a linear regression. So we've got a table here with years and miles traveled. The table shows the number of miles uh, Kate traveled for work each year for six years. Predict the number of miles Kate will, uh, will travel in 2014. So there's really, there's two parts to this. First, we're going to do the regression, and then we'll do the prediction part. You can't do the prediction part without the regression equation, okay? So to do the regression equation, we're going into, let me start from the beginning. Okay, so you've just turned on your calculator. Uh, it's probably a good idea, second plus seven, one, two, to reset the memory and mode. Because I reset my memory, I have to turn my stat diagnostics back on. Every time you reset the memory, you have to turn that back on. Okay, so stat, edit, and we've got our L1 and our t L2. Now, 2006 is a year. We do not put 2006 in our L1 because it's a year. It's like days of the week or months of the year. Um, we treat that as kind of like a word, okay? Instead, 2006 will represent year zero. One, two, three, four, and five, okay? Eighty three hundred seventy five fifty eight thousand and five seven thousand six hundred six thousand nine hundred thirty five six thousand four hundred and five. Okay, so we have all of our data in. All right. Um, one thing I want to do is turn on the stat plot. OK, 
Okay, we're going to turn it to on. Then if we hit zoom and the nine, zoom stat, it'll give us a picture of the plots, points that we plotted. And with the exception of this little hiccup uh, right here, the data is mostly, it looks linear, okay? And we're being asked to do a linear regression here. To do the regression, we're gonna press stat, calc, four. We hit enter until we get to this screen. Okay, so our A, remember that's your rate of change, that's the slope, which is usually M in another, uh, in most linear equations, but it, the calculator uses the letter A, is negative 335X, and then the B value is, the B value doesn't come out nice and pretty, um, but we're going to just round it, okay, 8,303. The correlation coefficient is the R value, in this case negative 0.901, and then we're going to just take it out for place value, so that 8 will tell the 0 to round up, and we've got that down here. So remember that indicates to us that the data fits this linear model pretty well, okay? To sub in and find out that prediction, so the prediction it's asking for is 2014, um, how many miles will she travel in 2014? So you can see, let me blow it up a little bit more. You can see where we've extended the chart a little bit. So 2011 represented the fifth year and then really tiny here. We've got 2012 is the sixth year, 2013 is the seventh year, and 2014 is the eighth year. So what happened is we, oh, that's way too big. We're going to take our equation. Okay, you could do this a couple of different ways. The first way you could do it would be simply to type into your calculator negative 335 and in parentheses put 8 instead of x. Plus 8303. And that'll give you your answer straight away. If you're just doing one prediction like we are right now, that's probably the easiest thing to do. If you're being asked to do multiple predictions about the same data, it would be easier to go into your uh, y equals 335x plus 8303 and look at your table. Scroll down till you get to the 8, okay, and you see that answer of 5,623. But you don't have to do that when you're only doing one prediction. That took a lot of extra steps. Thanks, and have a good day.